Some of the most world-changing battles and conflicts of World War II took place throughout Micronesia, the Philippine Sea, and the Mariana Islands. Sumai's recent history shows that in the mid-1800s, it was a small fishing village. Whalers used the village to replenish, residents were self-subsistent from the bountiful ocean and the fertile lands. Then at the turn of the century, many opportunities for economic growth unavailable to other villages arrived in Sumai. It began in the 1901 construction and subsequent operation of the Guam Telepacific Cable Station. Guam was the final link in a new worldwide communication network, and the undersea cable laid here provided the first direct telegraph route from Asia to America. Over the next 15 years, the U.S. Marine Corps barracks began to be constructed here, and the Marine Aviation Squadron headquarters near the village. By the mid-1930s, Sumai had many thriving businesses, with branches even in Aganya. Then, the Pan Am Clippers, storked around the world flight, chose Guam as one of their stops. The construction of their hotel, the refitting of, the by now, abandoned marine aircraft hangar, and then well-heeled passengers overnighting here brought unprecedented economic infusion to Sumai. Sumai's disappearance was the result of the changing world. In World War II, when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, they simultaneously attacked Guam, evicting residents from their villages and occupied the village for the next 32 months. During the 1944 recapture of Guam, the American pre-bombardment of the island and the fierce combat in this area to take the nearby Rote Field completely destroyed the village of Sumai. It was the immediate war need to build a huge forward supply base to support the pending land invasion of Japan and the increasing awareness of the importance of Guam's strategic location in the Pacific, both of which caused the Sumai village area to be absorbed into a permanent U.S. naval base Guam. Join us as we walk through the history of a war that changed the world 75 years ago. In the coming months, we will honor and pay tribute to those who lived and suffered through the war and those who died. We will hear stories of bravery and resilience and of the legacy that has come from it. <laughs>